day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and our beautiful children are gathered before us with bright, shining, eager faces. Ha, ha. Isn't there a law against cracking jokes on a school day? Jake, at least you should be smiling. You don't have classes today. I don't? I don't? You're going on a field trip. I am? I am? A field trip? Oh, joy! The sight! The sounds! The bus barf! Says here you're going to the zoo. I found the permission slip this morning when I was cleaning out your backpack. Close call, sport. Without this and $10 for admission, you'd have had to stay behind. You should be more careful. Yeah, Squirt. You gotta be more careful. Next time, flush it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love field trips? Ah, oh, we oui, Buford. There is nothing I would rather do on a hot spring day than take a long ride on an overcrowded bus with windows that don't open and seats that are covered in old gum wads. Me too. I wonder why they call them field trips when we never go through any fields. <gasps> I don't feel so good. Wait, wasn't that? <laughs> My tummy hurts. <laughs> Pukey Peterson! <laughs> Out of the window! <laughs> dog and root beer with a hint of red licorice. Leo Laos. That explains the subtle overtones of sour milk. All right, you little weasels. Ante up with your admission money. I love field trips. What a racket. <laughs> we refuse to get on that unsanitary vehicle. Whoa, you're right, kid. That's ripe enough to gag a skunk. Maybe the field trip should be canceled. Maybe it should be canceled. What? And give you greedy little slugs a refund? Fat chance. <gasps> now load up. And if anybody goes AWOL, it's three weeks detention. Already. We're here. So go and gawk at the vermin, ya vermin. But this isn't the zoo. It's a pet store. A pet store. Zoo, pet store, tomato, tomato, what's the diff? You have to pay to get into a zoo. The pet store is free. We demand our admission money back. Admission money? Sheesh. Where do you come up with these crazy ideas? Who said it was admission money? You did, Leo. You did. Oh, yeah, uh, well, I meant to say meal money. This dough is for the gourmet lunch. It's an all-inclusive field trip. Besides, the zoo is another 50 kilometers. And I know how to get there the long, slow way. Pet store is fine. I like talking to the budgies. <laughs> <sighs> Bunch of ingrates. Now, where am I gonna come up with a gourmet lunch? Perfect! <laughs> a first class buffet. I think I'll skip the lunch. Some idiot threw away a perfectly good tin of sardine juice. What are you flea bags looking at? 
Oh, you're hungry. Is that it? Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> hey, bien. You should be ashamed of yourself, Leo Laos, picking on these poor stray cats. Uh, that pair of rabbit disease carrying killing machines tried to attack me. I was outnumbered, outclawed. They went for my throat. I don't think this one's a stray. He's got a collar and a tag. He looks familiar. I think I've seen him somewhere. <sighs> of course! Voila! That's him, that's him. The owner is offering a reward for his safe return. I saw it first. He's mine. Hey! <laughs> Poor thing. He has no one to offer a reward for his return. <laughs> Gee, Renee, I never knew you were such a softy. I am not a softy. I am uh, allergic to uh, cats. I can't take him uh, home. What about you, Jake? Uh? I wish I could, but my mom is even more allergic to cats than you are. Sorry, fella. Looks like you're on your own. Make it stop! Make it stop! Relax, Ma. Relax! How can I relax? This milk is only two months past the expiry date. You're letting that slavering beast lap us out of house and home! Ma, it's okay. This little hairball is gonna make us a tiny little bundle. A five dollar reward? You mean somebody is actually willing to pay good money to get this bottomless pit back? The world is full of suckers, Ma. And most of them like cats. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a field trip to the zoo was too good to be true. I just knew it. When I become queen, I will abolish all field trips. You really are allergic. We must be at least 15 blocks away from the store, and you're still... Uh-oh. We've been followed. We've been followed. Oh, I'm sorry, fella, but you can't come home with us. Renee is allergic to you. And so is my mom. Now, shoo, okay? Shoo? <sighs> All right, then. Follow me. Where are you going? Home is... That way. I know, Renee, but his home is this way. Fifteen blocks this way. Hey, rodents, thanks for the tip. Uh, that little hairball was worth its weight in cold, hard cash. Suckers! <laughs> <laughs> Look, tuna bits and gravy. Okay, this will keep them busy while we make our getaway. Oui. On the count of trois, we leave poor Scuffy to a horrible life of neglect on the cold streets of Montreal. <laughs> Scuffy? I named him while you were in the store. I tried Boots, Muffy, Bojango, Minou, Snuggle, but uh, somehow they didn't suit him as well as Scuffy. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like I got me a keeper. <laughs> Okay, Scuffy. Ready, Renee? Wait. Set. They're all strays, too. Leo is scooping up every cat he can find, but he only keeps the ones with a reward poster. 
boss cafe. You cannot compete with that mob. Jacob, you know I'm a. Moi aussi. Just for tonight. Just tonight. But. I'll find him a good home tomorrow. I promise. I promise. Oh, oh, the poor thing. He could sleep in the garage, but just ha uh, 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 for tonight. Thanks, Mom. I will see you tomorrow, Jake. And uh, I will bring my allergy pills. Achoo! 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 Whoa! What's up with the roadkill, Pipsqueak? You better get it in the freezer before it goes bad. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind them, Scuffy. Tomorrow I'll give you a nice hot bath. And then I'll get you some breath mints. A mint a day keeps your pet's breath at bay. I thought you were going to give him a bath. I did. Twice. <gasps> okay, let's go find Scuffy a new home. We. Oui. Why, hello there. Would you like a nice cat? Sorry. Hey, how about a cat? Um, Scram. Please, oh, sweet. You don't want a cat, do you? But underneath his rough exterior, he has a wonderful personality and is full of... <laughs> air balls. <sighs> Zoot! We've been followed again! <laughs> Maybe if we have a wider selection of stray cats to choose from, people will find one they like. We'll skip this one. Looks like the position of pampered house cat has already been filled. A good deed, kid. I'm returning a precious lost kitty to its worried sap. I mean, owner. <laughs> if you want to do good deeds, why don't you take in these strays? Simple economics, Tutu. Strays got no owners. No owner means no reward. Sheesh, ain't they teaching you kids nothing nowadays? But that kitten is not lost. It is now! <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to take them back for a reward, you big numbskull! But these are fresh ones, Ma. We have to hang on to them for a while, in it to give the owners time to put up the reward posters. Fresh ones? The way I see it, if a cat ain't got enough sense to get itself lost, then I'll just have to give it a little help. <laughs> Leo, you're a genius! Ain't that what I've been telling you, Ma? It's like having a license to print money, only with cats! <laughs> we'll find them good homes. In your dream, Squirt. The only place these scrawny cats would be welcome is the university. They would? They would? Sure. Medical students are always on the lookout for strays. So many experiments, so few lab cats. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Scuffy. We won't let you fall into the hands of any twisted university students. <laughs> that goes for all of you. <laughs> 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 What's this? Leo's Lost Pet Service. Results guaranteed. 
guaranteed because he's the one who loses them in the first place. And then he collects a reward. Of course, a reward. That's it, Renee. We'll offer Leo a reward, a big reward. Come on. Got him, got him, need him, got him. Whoa! Looks like the smelly fish has taken the bait. Did you find any reward posters for these ones, Leo? <laughs> Never mind them, Ma. They're chump change. <laughs> Lost. Answers to the name Kitty. If found, reward. <gasps> a, mi a, mi a million dollars? Some crazy billionaire has lost his precious kitty cat. There's no sap like a rich sap. Catch me, Leo. Oh. Not bad, old boy. Devious. Very devious indeed. Maybe there's hope for you yet, Squirt. Got one! <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> I've been filthy, and I've been stinking, and now I'm filthy, stinking rich! <laughs> huh? Another cat with a pink ribbon? What are the odds of that? Better scoop him through, just in case. <laughs> Seven cats, all wearing pink ribbons. What are the odds of that? Uh, there must have been a sale on pink ribbons at the pet store. One of these little monsters is worth a fortune, but which one? Eh, the description on the poster could fit any of them. Well, don't just stand there, phone the number. That billionaire will know which cat is his. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> Sir Anthony Winthrop Smythe Stanley Livingston Crumble the Third's residence. I got your cat. Pink ribbon, answers to the name Kitty. Now fork over the cool million. I'm sorry, but I am not authorized to emit such a large sum. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna trust my butler when I get one either. So get the rich sap on the line. Sir Crumble has been called away on business. He won't be back for several months. What? Perhaps you would hand over the beloved animal to me, sir. Hey, no way, pal. I'm not getting swindled out of my reward by some crummy butler. Thanks, Noah. Thanks. That will keep Leo on the hook for a while. A pleasure, my devious old chap. Several months? Ma's gonna have another fainting spell. We'll go broke feeding that herd of freeloading hairballs. Wait a second. What am I thinking? I'll just get that butler dope to tell me which one's worth the dough. Then I can dump the rest. Hello? H hello? Leo, is that you? Uh, yeah, it's me. Uh, I was just, um, the phone in to, uh... <laughs> I know exactly why you're calling. Don't worry, Leo. The poker game is still on for Friday and there'll be plenty of sandwiches. Great, uh, good. Uh, say, while I got you on the line... A message for Jake? Okay, Leo, I'll tell him. A message from Leo? F for me? Yes. All he said was... Lab cats, if that's some kind of joke. Jake? One more flea bag to go. This is one field trip we can't let happen. <gasps> what are you doing with my cats? Well, we're... The thing is... Not you! You! Huh? I'm getting rid of them, Ma. The million dollar reward was a hoax cooked up by those rotten brats. But don't worry. I'll still make a tidy profit. I'm selling them all to this janitor at the university, and he'll... You can't sell mittens! Mittens? 
and we've got to keep beans in. And don't you dare touch a hair on Winston's scabby little head, or Bentley's, or Mr. Wiggles, or Tweaky. And last but certainly not least, my dear little Scuffy. Uncle Yab, you named him Scuffy? Somehow it just seemed to suit him. I did not know you were a cat person, Madame Laus. Neither did I. <laughs> huh? Ma, this is crazy. The lead is out of house and home. You said so yourself. Cats are like mold, Leon. They'll grow on you. <laughs> Forget it, Ma. It's either them or me. Beep, beep, you're still on our tail. I'm trying, I'm trying. Come on, guys, wait up. Don't leave me here. I'm hungry. It's getting dark. I'm all alone. Dear, I thought we agreed. No more strays. I know, I know. It's just... Well, he looked at me with those big, sad, bloodshot eyes and, well... I tried to take him back, honest, but he just kept following me. Oh, that smell. It's the worst yet. And we'll never get rid of the fleas. One more week, then out you go. One, One more week? week? Yeah. Sure thing. Two more weeks, three at the most. Then I'm gone. Four tops. Oh, would it kill you to cut off the crust? Kids today, no respect. And I asked for extra mayo. Oh, remember, not too much starch in the shirt. How do you work this remote? <laughs>